Hi friends, Hueso Enrico here, host of Talking with Fanciful, and your guide on a journey through INFP soulmate tunnels. <laughs> okay, so I've noted that ESTJ INFP doesn't work very well, and I've posited that duality may only work for Alpha Quadrant. There may be some alternate pairings for other quadrants. I'm not sure about that. I've also heard that um, ESTP INFJ works well if you can get them together, which is difficult. But uh, so it may be FETI. It works. Duality works for FETI users. That's another possibility. So obviously INFPs are FITE users, not FETI users. So that means that they're quasi. No, it means that they are. Uh, they're. They're feeling shit all the time, you know. INFPs are, and their prospective ESTJ supposed duality mates are correcting them all the time. <laughs> and. Uh, now that's not how we decide things, honey. Um, now, no, your your feelings are not important. Okay, you need to remember that. That's important. That's sort of an ESTJ approach towards FI as a natural phenomenon, naturally occurring state of the ESTJ is to approach FI with with a uh, no, no, no kind of an approach. Um, which is kind of how I approach SI. So, for example, I'm avoiding tasks I should be doing right now. Why? Well, lack of SE, and S it's an SI matter in the sense that I'm not really doing a good job of keeping track, really if you keep track of, and being organized, and stuff like that. So, and that's sort of an SI component, it's sort of a TE thing, and it's sort of a SE thing, and, it, it, you know, being organized and come from a lot of different places. There's a lot of different reasons why one might be organized. And it might be a phenomenon of optimization, it might be naturally occurring due to environmental concerns. There's different ways to attain organization. So an SI person with poor TE like Kim, she'll she knows what she, how she's organized things before. And at some point in her childhood, she picked, she was taught how to organize things, maybe in a class or something. That's the kind of student the teachers in elementary school teach that stuff for. You know, here's how you organize. Oh, good, now I have a way I know to organize. They're not going to come up with a million different ways to organize. I, I can think of 50 different ways to organize something. None of them are perfect. Especially if you're talking about dealing with data. But, okay, that's not the point. What is the point of this video? Don't get quite so high before making a video. Well, I am sorry. What's it about? Oh, yeah. ENTJs. So, ENTJs bring the part of the NI. NFPs roll in with the NE. So, in a lot of ways, this is going to be equivalent to what you might call a uh, INFJ ENTP kind of a relationship, right? ENTJ INFP. They're equivalent. So, I've noted before that I think INFJs or INTPs would make the, the second best partner for ENTP. I think that it may be shifted along intuition sensing lines, maybe, uh, in that quadro. In that quadro, you've got ENFP, INFP, ENTJ, INTJ. They're all FITE users with NISC. So, I mean, they're all, they're all FITE users. But half of them have NI and half of them have NE. And they can't be the same quadra then. Are they not quadrimates? Who's the same quadra as 
Oh, well, it would be ESTJ and ISTJ. That's right. Okay, never mind. It's okay. They're out. They're out of quadrant. Of course they are. This is why you shouldn't get so high before hanging by the end. I said that already. I know, but I just confirmed for myself that that was in fact a conclusion that one could draw from this. So anyway. Who's in that quadra? Quadra Harvard. That's because of the ENTJ. ENTJ, INTJ, ISFP, ESFP. It's like the uh, the bar at Harvard or something. It's where the nerds and the party folk go to mingle. That's a weird quadra. I guess we're a weird quadra too. You got these like people are trying to show how smart they are all the time, but these people are trying to show how regular and kind and nurturing they are all the time. <laughs> it's weird. Anyway, uh, NTJ, NTJ. They NTJs are like I don't even get them really. I mean, I get why they do what they do. I just can't imagine doing it. They go. T-E-N-I-S-E-F-I. T-E-N-I-S-E-F-I. They're aspirational in their SC, but it's pretty good. It develops, too, because of the T-E. They know how to get more efficient at shit over time. And they learn in a very structured way. NTJs are the ones who are like your Harvard Law guy, like Bailey. My friend Bailey is an NTJ. He's a lawyer, a corporate lawyer. He got his degree from Harvard Law. He's married to this Asian American author or something. You know, he likes achievement. I guess he's a three. I think that's fair to say. Like he only puts 91 gas in his car. Um, he runs marathons. He didn't hang out that much in high school. He was busy doing stuff. But, I mean, he hung out often enough that I knew... I, I never thought he was particularly smart. Like, I didn't think, well, that guy's really smart. I just thought, oh, that's baby, he's pretty smart. Other people would tell me he was smart. I guess. He's not dumb. But, you know, the reason... I didn't quite get why people thought he was smart, was he wasn't ideationally notable. His notability in terms of thinking was his ability to understand processes as algorithms rather than as arguments. In other words, it was the ability to link to personal goals and values known through FI, even though he sought it, even if he was wishy-washy on what his goals were, or if he had trouble exerting the energy to feel what was really authentically important to him, it still framed his understanding of what was smart. What smart is doing the smart thing. For an HP, what's smart is saying the, saying the smart thing, I guess, or something like that. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of nice comments and stuff. It's nice. It really is nice. It makes me feel good.
Thank you everybody for writing nice comments. I appreciate it. Anyway, that's it for this. Oh wait, <laughs> I haven't even broke. I, I can I, I cannot even upload this video. I don't think. I'll probably upload it. Okay, INFPs, will they get along with the NTJs? Yeah, well, they'll provide the FI. They'll complement each other in terms of their tool functions. That'd be like... What would it be like? It would be like... Me being with a... With a SI, it would be like me being with an ISTJ. Um, I do like ISTJs. The problem, of course, is each other's polars, each other's agenda. I don't know if that's really a problem. I mean, for ENTJ, they've got. SI polar for INFP they got SC polar. Okay, well I mean right there, here you go, why is it better a good match? They need somebody who's massively successful INFPs do to take care of them and indulge them in their in their nonsense. It's not nonsense. It's it's uh oh, they're meant to do. They're meant to, to, to authentically ideate and play in ways that are interesting and revelatory about aspects of human existence that I officially undervalue like that by. But I do value that feed. So hopefully that smooth things over. And it's everybody else. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to eat plenty of cheese.